Hi guys, welcome to Food with Chetna. I am in Duck and Waffle today, the highest restaurant in London, and with me is Dan Dorothy. Thank you so much for joining, and you're going to show us Eccles cake with blue cheese. Yeah, it's a variation of Eccles cakes. The first time I had an Eccles cake was at St John restaurant okay. by Fergus Henderson, and he does this amazing thing where he serves just an, an Eccles cake with a piece of cheddar, and it's wow. such a nice. They go so well together because yeah. it's that you know, you, normally you would pair fruit with cheese. Yes. We started playing about with them, and we just rather than doing it on the side, we just put a piece of blue cheese inside. So blue cheese, mm. you've got you know things like currants and orange and nutmeg and all these different sort of flavours going on. Fantastic. So the first thing is to make the currant mix. So we have currants, brown sugar. You don't you don't quite need to make this much. At home. Okay. This is a quite a big recipe. Unfortunately, I think just, we're all used to just the volume we do at the restaurant. Yes. We don't do anything by half. So brown sugar, currants, uh, nutmeg, a lump of butter, and we'll just let that cook down together for five minutes or so, just to sort of get to know each other. Okay. And then we'll grate in the zest of an orange right at the end. After so it's cooked. Okay. Yeah, after. Otherwise, it tends to go a bit sort of the flavour just mellows. Okay. That's what you're looking for. So it's not fully melted, melted. Not really. I think no. you want that to happen inside the pastry. Okay. Just so it's you know you get all that kind of caramelisation going on. So now we finish it with the, uh, the orange zest. But when you get that blue cheese in there, it kind of, they mellow each other out, if that makes sense, so. It smells beautiful. Okay, so, you just let that cool down a bit. Just gonna quickly roll out some pastry. So we use puff pastry for this. Okay. Okay, so we just roll this out. Probably about half a centimetre thick. Okay. Maybe a little bit less than that. Okay. Beautiful. These are going to be little baby ones. But actually, this is a good size because this is a good size to eat. Yeah, I agree. So we go cheese first because when we're going to seal this, we're then going to turn it over and make three cuts. So, so you the want cheese that will okay, yeah. ooze out from the cuts. That's the plan. A little spoon of the mix inside. Yeah. And like, you know, as we said, you can make these much bigger if you want to, but they're, it's kind of nice to have little, sort of, almost bite size, a little bit of egg white just to help it stick. Water's also fine. There's, there's no elegant way of doing this. Okay. But there probably is, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> it's going to go on the bottom of the cake anyway. Exactly, that's my theory. Okay, so once you've got that. Ah, okay. So Can I try one? Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. The great thing about this is when they bake, you want it to be messy. What you don't want is this perfect, you want the cheese to be bubbling over, the sugar to start sort of caramelizing. caramelizing yeah. So apparently the only way an Eccles cake is an Eccles cake is with having, if it has three cuts in the top. Okay. And then we go on top again with the egg, egg white. And then we sprinkle some sugar on top. Just plain caster sugar? Just plain, I mean you can use brown sugar, but caster sugar I think melts a bit quicker so it will get a nice bit of colour on it. We're going to put them in the freezer for a second just to rest the pastry. Okay. And then we'll pop them in the oven. How that long one. in the oven? Eight, ten minutes. Eight, ten minutes. Yeah. And what sort Depending of temperature? About 180. 180. So yeah, it's enough to cook the pastry, caramelise the sugar, and get the cheese, cheese all melty. Out. So these have had 10 to 12 minutes in the oven. You can see uh, all of this is what I really adore oh, in any kind of baking when it's all like that's like the love, you know? Yes, and it looks so tempting. Yeah. These little cakes, I don't know, they're just so cute. Oh. I want you to try them, but you might have to wait a few minutes because they are like molten lava. Okay, no, I can wait for two minutes. I can actually smell them so far away. Mm -hmm. so you've got that kind of sticky cheese going in with all the honey and uh, the sugar. So you see the, the, the fats coming out of the cheese mixing with all that, you know, the sugars and... Yeah. Oh, shall I dig in? Mmm. Mm. It's one of my favourite things. I was not expecting things. that. But you because say the cheese is soft. It's not like blue cheese, which is all in your face. No. It's, it's kind of more mellow. Oh, that's beautiful. And so, so easy to make as well. Thank you so much no for showing me your recipe. And thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.
and if you ever get a chance, do visit Duck and Waffle. It's absolutely beautiful here and the food is amazing. So thanks for watching today.